Hey guys, Nick Miller today from Mark Supply Company. Today I have for you a 2018 Bobcat T770 rubber track skid steer loader. This machine has cab heat air, two speed, power quick attach. It is a standard flows machine, or standard flow machine, joystick control. Um, it's 2,197 hours. I bought this machine from a Bobcat dealer. This machine came in and this machine actually had an engine failure due to an oil drain hose. Oil drain hose broke, caused it to lose oil in the oil pan, and it trashed the engine. So, I did the right thing. I bought a brand new Bobcat D34 engine from Bobcat. It's about a $22,000 engine. Uh, we installed this. It has one year warranty on the engine. Uh, we went completely through this machine, one end to the other, changed all the filters and oils. It is an excellent running machine. All the white paint's original on the sides. Other than up front, we did paint the white on the face plates. Painted a, a bucket for it. it um, I put that bucket on it. Um, the track frames, we painted them. The back door is original. The cab's original. Machine's 100%. It is ready to go to work. We're going to start you around it. Come on back here. Back door's 100% original paint. There's a scratch here and a scratch here. Other than that, it's original decal, original paint. Inside's going to get powered by a Bobcat D34 four-cylinder turbo diesel engine. Starts and runs great. Obviously, it's a brand new motor. We just installed it. New engine, OEM Bobcat, 2,195 hours. We actually put it on 2-1 of 2024 MSC. Stands for Mark Supply Company. Um, one thing about Bobcat, when they send you a new motor, it's not like a lot of companies. All new sensors, new turbo, new manifold. They send you all the gaskets. Um, you know, up here on the top, your MAF sensor, SMAS airflow here. They send all that. Everything comes. It's done. Um, it's amazing. New wiring harness, new ECM, the whole nine yards. So there again, understand it's not like it was some short block or anything like that. It was a new complete unit. We used the starter, the alternator, and the AC pump. And that was about it. Everything else was new from Bobcat. I have all the receipts. Warranty's in my name for that. We'll transfer it to the new owner. No, no issue there. Again, all paint, white is all original. Does have a pair of matching Bridgestone tracks that are about 70%. Balance the undercarriage is 75%. Rollers, idlers, sprockets. Bucket up front. I put this bucket on it. It's an OEM Bobcat 80 inch heavy duty bucket with bolt on teeth and shanks. Um, bucket has some remainder of some black top remnants in it, but it's a very good bucket. Power quick attach, auxiliary hydraulics, half inch standard flow, 23 gallons a minute. 3 8 K strain. Cab is nice and straight. All the lights work. It has got the heated air ride seat in it. Has joystick controls. AM FM radio. It has auto level. Um, go ahead here. Fire it up. Pattern changer, power bob attach, throttle, joystick control, AC. AC works. Up here we're going to show you tachometer, volts, no error codes. It is a standard flow. You got your auto level right here. Uh, we'll go ahead and show everybody. Does have two speed. Does have snail mode. Um, all your M series stuff is going to have your adjustable joysticks here does have your AM FM radio all the glasses in the cab lights all work Braden here you go bud wiper washer everything air is complete I'm gonna fire this thing up I'm gonna run around she doesn't think it's supposed to here we go so a lot of you guys now have mentioned in all my videos I own a 770 myself if I truthfully had the money right now, I'd probably take this one, sell mine, keep this machine. Mine has 3,800 hours on it. Been a great skid steer. I bought it with 3,000 hours on it. Um, over the course of two and a half years, I've put some time on it. I needed it for several projects. 
and we're still running it. Love it. Absolutely love the machine. Um, the 770 is a 92 horsepower skid loader. They're 3,475 pound of lifting capacity. Um, they've got great power. Um, again, I absolutely love my machine. This machine here, same thing. Just they're an absolute hoss of a machine. Uh, what you're going to see here, they kind of rotate track. Very, very nice, very smooth. A lot of machines, when you do that, you'll find that the boom will just start bumping around. You can see the boom in this machine's tight. But the Bobcat has a good feel on its controls. Um, very smooth. Um, it's amazing the pushing power these machines have. Um, I run a 84 or an 81 inch extreme duty CID root grapple on mine. Uh, I cleared a 15 acre piece last fall into last winter with it. It's just absolutely amazing the work that you can get done. Um, the Bobcat machines, we've owned a lot. We do a lot of Bobcat stuff. I like the Bobcat equipment. Um, you know, no doubt you can get a part on any street corner for a Bobcat. Uh, product support is there. And I am a fan of these Dusan engines. They're a good motor. Once you get to understand them and use them and run them, how they work, power is amazing they do they have great power uh, again it just comes down to learning how to run the machine um, two-speed travel there you can see me it's running right across there nice um, again I've had great luck with these machines this machine yes it had a freak failure it's something that happened um, you know I didn't do what a lot of guys would have done and I took it to a shade tree whatever and repaired it I bought an OEM engine and it's over with um, that engine through Bobcat has a one-year warranty I did that right it's taken care of I have no regrets a lot of guys won't do that stuff I did it behind me when I say we did change every filter we did change every filter so clear down to the cabin filters have been changed that's done taken care of and again that all costs money to do it a lot of guys don't do that stuff today auto level See that works nice. Shut that back off. Go ahead and unhook the bucket. Power quick attach works the way it's supposed to, no issues. Machine does have auto idle. Now you can see here uncurl, curl, up, down. Okay? Reverse, forward, right, left. Switch it over to each pattern. Let me reset. Curl, uncurl, up, down, right side, forward, reverse, left side, forward, reverse. Switch it back over. Curl, uncurl, up, down, forward, reverse, or left, right. That's all there is to it. It shows you everything works. I try not to leave anything to the imagination here. Uh, there again, that's just how we do things. Now, this is a standard flow. You do not need high flow to run a brush cutter. If you're wanting to run a brush cutter, you do not need high flow auxiliaries. CID, a lot of manufacturers, CID is one of them, we're a distributor for, are all making a piston motor drive is capable of seven, 16 to 17 to 27 gallons a minute a flow rating cut up to seven inch material <clears throat> they're also making a unit now that'll cut 10 inch material 
on a 20 to 30 gallon a minute cutter. So, if you think you need iFlow to do that, you don't. Um, there's a lot of stuff you can cut with a standard flow brush cutter. Guys, there you have it. Auto idle, idle down here in a second. Um, I'll bump the pilot. Auto idle back up. Guys, that's all there is to it. Really good machine. Um, cab, heat, air, joystick, two speed. Um, you know, I stress that I put an 80 inch factory Bobcat brand bucket on this machine. Factory buckets cost a lot of money. Um, that bucket set right for that machine. It grades nice. Yeah, we sell CID brand. CID brand is a very good brand of bucket. But if I choose to put a factory bucket on, I like to do that. A lot of guys are putting a tin can junk bucket on. And it's sad that a lot of guys didn't realize that bucket's about a $2,700 bucket new. Um, and you're buying something that I'm a couple thousand dollars more than the next guy, but his buckets are junk and his tracks are junk and he didn't service the machine or he didn't do anything. It all costs money to do that, guys. So cheaper is not always better. But if you've got any questions, 814-658-3066. Check out our website, www.marksupplyco.com. If you've got any questions, please let us know. We'd be glad to help you in any way that we can. Again, I'm Nick Miller, 814-658-3066. As always, thanks for checking out Mark Supply Company. Have a great day.